Hey guys, Josh here again with Windy City Equipment. Um, today we're going to continue on with our how to run a successful service company. Uh, this video actually came in by request of uh, Michael Buck. Um, it is uh, collecting on your accounts receivable. Thank you, Michael, for this uh, tip, although I could spend probably four hours in front of this camera talking about it. <laughs> um, collections on accounts receivable uh, is, simply put, my nightmare. Uh, especially in the service industry, this is just uh, unbelievable what, uh, what we go through sometimes. You know the the problem with this is we're not we're not like a restaurant where you know um, you give us money we give you food it's not it's not that simple and you know we're also not a credit card company uh, or a utilities company that uh, people seem to pay just out of instinct we we fall somewhere in between we offer the net thirty terms and um, you know. It seems as though when a customer gets an invoice and uh, if they're on net 30, uh, sometimes it's just like, oh, okay, well, I'll, I'll pay my credit card bill first. I'll pay my utility bill first. You know, I'll pay my, my food vendor first, um, you know, and and it just gets tossed to the side. And they just kind of, they don't take uh, service invoices seriously, I don't think. At least some of them. I'm not talking about everybody, of course. We have some customers that are just perfect as far as payment goes. Um, but this is what this is what I find, you know. It's 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 a constant battle. It's a constant struggle. Like I've talked about before, with cash flow is, um, you know, cash flow is what what keeps service companies afloat. It's uh, it's really the lifeblood of every single company that 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 provides service and and is based off of service. So anyway, let's get into it. Um, Collecting on accounts receivable can be uh, a very daunting task. Uh, there's a couple of things we can do uh, and what I've learned over the years to, uh, to help keep that to a minimum, although there's really no good short-term solution. Um, so over the years, we've found that obviously some customers, whether, uh, uh, whether they're new startups or you know existing customers we just don't know uh, very well, um, we struggle to get paid. You know, we offer, we or we used to offer, still offer, but we've always offered 30-day terms. Um, and uh, that's gotten us into some trouble sometimes. You know, 30 days goes by, we don't have a check or payment. Uh, you know, 45 days goes by, still nothing. 60 days, 90 days, and you know what? If you don't get paid after 90 days, don't hold your breath. Um, so anyway, there's a couple of ways to combat this. Um, you know, COD is very good. Uh, I don't necessarily mean, you know, cash money, you know, Benjamins, but, uh, well, which is always fine, obviously. I, I accept cash all day long. Um, but, uh, you know, getting paid at time of service. Uh, you know, usually all of our new customers uh, are, are immediately on COD now. All right, so they, they write us a check, they give us a credit card, they give us cash at the time of service once the service is completed or my tech isn't allowed to leave their restaurant. Um, you know, and then if they want to get set up on terms, first of all, we have to do, we have to build a relationship with them for a couple of months on uh, uh, payments due on receipt. Um, and then if they do want terms, they will start off now on net 15. And assuming they are never late on their net 15 payments, then we can move them to net 30, um, which we do. Uh, you know, and then if they're uh, if they're ever late on net 30, it's very simple. I tack on the late fees, which I never used to do when we were a young, you know, a younger company, and uh, um, you know, we we were able to keep better tabs on all the customers we had. But now, now with as many customers as we have, I have to charge late fees. Otherwise, people just don't take us seriously. So uh, we do that. Uh, also, if it becomes a problem, if they're ever late, you know, they go back to uh, to COD. They go back to do on receipt. It's it, sorry, it is what it is. It, uh, um, it, you're going to be punished if you don't uh, if you don't work within the terms, you know, uh, that you're provided. I mean, we're all professionals here. Uh, so, you, you know, they got to understand. Uh, also, you know, if it becomes a problem, you can always secure with a credit card uh, before you go out to the site. Um, 
and uh, which I found actually works really well. You uh, secure a one hour, you know, a service fee in one hour, and that's usually enough time to diagnose any problem that the customer has. So once you get there and you diagnose the problem, you know what you're doing, you know what you're up against, and basically you quote it out and say, okay, well, if you want me to proceed with the uh, the repairs, you're going to have to pay up front. So that works really well now. Uh, has has really helped us, um, you know, overcome some of the uh, some of the uh, receivable issues that we've had. Um, also, for for bigger jobs, uh, equipment sales, um, stuff like that, uh, it, it's a good idea to uh, charge fifty percent down and then fifty percent upon completion. Um, so that that definitely does help uh, cash flow uh, and and the receivables aspect of it. If somebody pays for half of something. You know, um, they're they're more opt to pay for the other half when you're done. You know, with uh, with whatever it is you're doing, and not only that, but you know, my invoices are, are very clear uh, when they when they come through and they say, look, if you haven't paid for your uh, uh, your services um, or especially parts or equipment, um, it remains property of Windy City Equipment until. Uh, until it's paid in full. So if it's not paid, technically I could repossess it. Now it gets a little tricky because, you know, I can't just go into somebody's uh, restaurant and take their uh, their equipment out. You know, they could just, uh, you know, say I'm trespassing or whatever. So it gets complicated, but the verbiage is very important, uh, you know, and, and the follow through is very important. If somebody doesn't pay and you've got to take action, you call an attorney and say, hey, you know what, these people haven't paid me. Um, and I need to get my equipment back or get paid, and usually it will be it, it will rectify. Um, we also uh, have used collection companies in the past. Um, there has been uh, a couple of them that we've tried out. One of them turned out to be a complete sham, so watch out for that. Uh, I don't remember their name right now. It was a long time ago. Uh, I'll put it in the comments down below once I remember. Uh, so nobody ever uses them because they literally just collected my money from the customer and then kept it. So uh, live and learn, I guess, right? But uh, there are other companies out there. We use another one called, uh, I think it's American Profit Recovery. Um, a very good, uh, very good company. You buy, uh, you buy a certain number of uh, chunks, if you will, uh, of collections, and then you're able to use them, you know, throughout the year. And uh, um, it's great. They have two tiers. They've got the first tier where they just send out the collection letters, and then they got the second tier where they they take 50% if they collect. But those are for your customers that you know haven't paid for over 90 days, uh, you know, six months, a year, whatever. Uh, but uh, you know those are some some good ways to combat the accounts receivable portion of what we do and uh, I mean geez I could do an entire series on this I mean look I've already been talking for eight minutes and 15 seconds I don't even know how many of you are gonna watch this from beginning to end but uh, anyway um, I'm sure there's more I'm missing on the uh, on the accounts receivable uh, aspect but you know like I said, I could talk all day. Oh, uh, I do have uh, my financial assurance manager that's, that's in our office, uh, Matt. He does focus a lot on collections and really just the old school way, picking up the phone, calling, calling, calling over and over again until we get that payment. Um, you know, uh, credit card, uh, check, whatever. Uh, we also stop in and just make pop-ins and say, hey, by the way, you know, you owe us money. Uh, we got to get paid. Sometimes they're uh, responsive. Sometimes they're not. Um, if it were legal to uh, break kneecaps, I'd probably have would have done that a couple of times uh, by now. So uh, this just some of my frustrations, but uh, uh, it is a very good topic, and uh, hopefully you guys will have a lot of questions on this because I'm sure there's stuff I missed, and I'd love to be able to answer any questions that you guys had on your mind. Uh, in the comments down below. So sorry about the length of this video, but um, you know, it's a, it, it's a good topic. So uh, that's all I got for now. Um, we will see you next week. All right.